How you doing everybody? Beer Man here. Welcome back to more Planet Crafter. Have a look what's just happened. This meteor has just landed here. I'm rudely onto my rocket launching pad, but look, it's dropped one of these. What's inside? Oh man, what I thought it was something good, but maybe because I don't have my rocket launcher up and running. Oh, there's another one. It didn't give me what. Can I get to it? Can I get to it? Give me something. Oh, Terra tokens. That's what I was hoping for. Sweet. Okay, cool. Well, today, what do we got to do? Uh, we got to get not stuck. That's what we got to do. Okay, cool. Was there any others? Huh? Or is that another? Oh, that's the same one. Yeah, I can just might as well break it down so I don't get confused because I get confused quite easily. Um, but I think that's it. Unless there was one up here. But it's hard to see through all this rubbish. I'm sure. Oh, look. Oh, there is another one. Oh, good. We got space. And more terror tokens. Oh, man. That was absolute gold mine find right there. Fantastic. I'm going to hold off cashing in on those gold uh, terror tokens until later. But what do we got to do today? We've got a ton of things to do today. First and foremost, what we need to do is we got to get ourselves some bees going which means we've got to use our incubator and that do we have to, oh we have t3 spreaders oh so we've got to swap over to the t3 spreaders ah oh, and we need some butterfly domes boy oh boy we got lots of stuff to do right now i'm on my way to swap out the T2, T or what extracted to T2. I'm gonna go do that and then we'll come back and figure out where we're going to put our bees. Well, here I am over at the waterfall, as you can see. And I think this looks like a great area to set ourselves up with a kind of insect farm thing. So our beehive and our butterfly dome we can put it all here. So let's figure out where we want to do that. I mean, you can't put the beehive on top of the water. We can kind of set it up so we can put the butterfly dome on top of the water by putting the um, foundations there. I mean, but this looks like it could be a fantastic area for both. So why don't we get started by putting our little transporter here so that way we can decide how we want to get. I mean, I'll go run back and grab all the things I need to start building stuff. Let's relabel this to um, insect Air farm. There you go, insect farm. Perfect. And as you can see, I set myself up with a bunch of different places so I can just go grab from those ore extractors, which is a beautiful thing. Cool. Right. Let me run home and get myself, oh, not that, some, uh, everything I need to build a little kind of hut area so we can house our incubator and then we'll build some beehives. So I'll be right back. One of the things that I find annoying about building in this game is that these grids just don't line up about, well, can't rotate them. So when I tried to build over this, they just wouldn't line up right and I couldn't do it. But this one seems to do it all right in a general sense. I've gone out also and got everything I need for this to be mounted here oh man it's um gonna play havoc with me until i uh, put something in its place tell you what let me grab what i need to to build at least one little mini hut and then i can link it to that all right there it is you can have a little look at it now it's perfectly mounted nicely we got a little entrance here, though we probably don't need that entrance. We can build our little lab 
on the back side of that. So let's take that out, take that out, put a little door in, boom, and there you go. Now we can start building our little mini base out this way. So that way, when we need to put in all the things we need, we go out that way and go through this little dome because it's a nice little thing. Right, I need to run back and get myself some iron. Fortunately, we have our little transporter over here. I'm going to move it closer. I'm actually going to move it inside once it's all done. In the meantime, let me go get some iron. All right, here we go. Oop. Let me go grab some water before we get started trying to build, because I always forget to eat and drink, sort of like real life. And go in here. And right here, we want to put one of these babies. Boom. And right here, I think we need to do it off of this one if it's going to work correctly. Boom. No, did it wrong. Typical. That's okay. We'll do it from here. Link it. Boom. There you go. Now we got this space here and this space here. Want to build this baby right here so we can start making ourselves all the things we need to get a these. And then we're gonna put my our little transporter in here. We also need to build. Where is it? It's the recycler. Recycler, I know we have you there. And that is because when we're working through our making our bees, we won't always get everything right. And we'll need sometimes to re deconstruct it. So I'm going to go get all the stuff I need for that and I'll bring you back. All right, here we are. Let's get inside and start making things happen. So uh, as you can see, I've already put the teleporter in here. Makes life a lot easier. Oh, I don't remember if I told you, but look, we've set something up at all of our ore extractors. And I managed to get them all up to T2, so we can just quickly pop over to there. Now, let's get ourselves our very first incubator. Put that baby all the way back here. And over here, we will get our recycling machine. And boom. Cool. Now we go over here we can look and to get bee larva we need uncommon larva mutagen and fertilizer all right but well, let me head back oh i've got stuff in here i don't know what that was for but uh let me head back and grab the things i need and we can start trying to get our first bee okay here we are so we know what the recipe is we can come over here and drop those babies in click on a yield research and off it goes so other than that we will need a plastic nugget and a fertilizer let me go get those while this is brewing wow look what's just that landed while i was coming back and it looks like there are blue suitcases and are coming with it let's grab stuff while we're in here and all right well that's convenient nice stuff are there any more let's see Look at this. Whoa. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen something like this fall from the sky. Ooh, yes. More terror tokens. We'll take those babies. Let's see. Last time there were three crates. See if there's any more. Ah, ooh, two more. Wow. Oh, man. We are rolling in this stuff here. That is absolutely awesome. What do we got here? More terror tokens. Oh, man. No fuses, though. This game refuses to give me fuses. Ah, made that up. All right, look at that. You can see we've got bees. Let's go in here and grab our bee larva. Perfect. Let's head outside and place our bees nests. Where do we want to put these babies? Hmm. Well, for now, is that uncommon? Oh, no. I'm going to place it right here. A nice flat area. And it looks convenient. Boom. And in time, we will start to get some money. Right. I need another. Oh, man. I'm always running out of water. Uh, I need another one here. And 
that will start our little chain of events of getting insects up we can go back and check and see what that looks like okay as you can see our insects are now slowly starting to creep up we're gonna move into the food category soon let's get some more bees and that will really kick it off um can't get a butterfly farm till we really push that out but that reminds me that we have not put our golden butterflies into our butterfly dome so let me grab everything i need and get over there and we can create another one of these babies all right let's kick this off by putting everything we need in there oh did i not get a mutagen uh oh i grabbed the wrong one all right let me go grab the right one Blech. All right let's try this again edit that last piece out so no one knows how unprofessional i am let's uh oops sorry and create what we need uncommon lava uh fertilizer and a mutagen get started thank you very much now let's head into our butterfly dome and insert said butterflies boom and boom and ah uh, look at the golden butterflies that's beautiful nice oh right okay cool let's uh wait for this to finish uh creating and then we'll put up another beehive And just like that, new high quality food is coming about. Now, in order to do that, we need honey. And there it is. Now, it's slightly painful that we have to keep collecting it, but we're moving into a new direction and we'll figure out what it takes. I don't think I can create food here. I think we need to make food in a special place, uh, in a, you know what I mean? the crafting station which we will do maybe we should start growing some uh, what we need out here so we can start creating food here we'll create a, a food location uh, you know what i'll move those ones that i already have all right well how far is that oh that's all done that was convenient right let me do this and get this baby up and running oh no nope, don't want you um beehive thank you all right rotate does it rotate nicely and it looks much better put it there boom now we've got two very lovely beehives growing and generating some honey let me oh i've got enough to actually create one let me run back uh we are going to put our food growers here and a nice crafting station there as well okay we are back and i was mistaken you cannot craft the food in the food i mean in the crafting station so we need a bio lab which i brought everything to do let's get that started let's put our bio lab right there oh typical did it wrong we'll do it from here bio lab boom and then we can now create some food. Let's have a look. Oh, in there. High quality food. Boom. Ah. Uh, creates, gives you a lot of food. 90 health. That's fantastic. Now, in the meantime, let us build ourselves three food growers. One, two, and three put our seeds in there just like so uh, boom now let's go outside oh you know what I, because i've extended this side i feel like i should extend this side so i brought enough stuff to do that uh, oh yeah i did it right huh. okay so that's cool now let's go outside and see what our honey situation looks like and see if we can create some more food and boom and boom let's go create more food oh man i can't wait for automation it's gonna make our lives so much easier so let's get this started boom and boom now we have three of these bad boys awesome okay let's let's head back and see where we stand i think we picked up a few things um that we can create uh i know we can do that but i don't need to use that oh yeah we need to do our 
next level of tree spreaders and update those. And I think we got some special trees we can also produce. And we can start putting out some display cases to, to all our effigies. But let me head back and see. Oh, and there's also another thing we can create. Let me let me show you. Let's head back home. Uh, home. And go over to the T2 crafting station. Um, uh, turn around. And we can now craft fusion energy cells, which is really important. Oh wow, they never had obsidian as part of that. Uh good thing we can get a lot to that. Ooh, that means we should probably go start farming it. Hmm. Which means we should take a look at what our uh, levels are for power over here. How much power do we have? Oh, we have plenty of power. So let's get an ore extractor out there in the obsidian land and get another teleporter out there in obsidian land because we can't create pulsar quartzes yet. Uh, that's coming soon. Um, where is it? It is. Oh, yeah. Our overall terraformation level. Oh, we're getting so close. <gasps> so close to drone station. That's really cool. And then pulsar courses are way out there. Okay, that's not a problem. But let's take a look at our insects. Our insects are flying, which is all really good because then we can start doing silk generation. And then that means we can start trying to get some rockets in the air, which we also haven't done yet. All right here is our T2 spreader. We can take this baby out. We can get better trees than that. And ah, oh, drone station. Oh man, things are really rocking and rolling now. We can deconstruct that. Put down a T3 in its place. Boom. Shove that back in there for now, although we need to upgrade it. And we definitely need to upgrade this baby to uh, the next level. Capacity of five machines. Oh, I wonder if we should take all the tree spreaders and put it within the circle tell you what i'm gonna go grab them and see if that what that does all right there they are so they're all being affected now by this optimizer um let's see what does it take to make the next level of optimizer need uh all right so basically we just need three obsidian great let me go get those look at all the baby trees everywhere so cool all right cool let's grab that take that out that is a plant multiplier plant multiplier undo that create our next level uh optimizer put oh we can put multiple fuses in there whoa that's cool that and up to eight machines wow oh wow look how wide of an area that goes now so we can actually move these tree spreaders even further apart. Wow. Okay. I wonder, is there a way to keep that on there? Well, I wish it was. So hard to see. All right. Let me uh, move some of these to the widest points and see what I can do. Okay. I've moved them. And if you click on that, you can see that. Oh, that one doesn't look like it's in the zone. Got to move that one. That one is. That one is. All right. I got to move that one a bit closer because it should light green. And there you go. That optimizer. Ooh, even that flower spreader. I didn't realize that is getting affected. And all the other ones. Very cool. Let's go see. It should be flying off the charts right now. Our um, plant growth. Oh, I see a blue box up there. I wonder if that was from that meteor and I missed it. Bet you it's an empty one. Well, um, please let it not be empty. Let it have a fuse. And no fuse, but more terror tokens. I'll take it. All right. Man, there is so... It hates me, this game. It hates me. All right, look at this. Our insects are going absolutely bananas. Our plants are going up. Not as high, but I don't think we need... Uh, our plants to go that high? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, plants. Yeah, I mean... Hmm. Actually, we could use it to go a lot higher than they are. Which is interesting. I wonder if we can find some more fuses to do that. Well, no. if we could, 
I would do it. Oh, you know what? We can get better trees. That's the secret. Forgot about that. Let's see. Let's go over to our little DNA manipulator, baby. Look at our recipes. So that's a 125. That is right. So that's a tree. They're all trees. The highest tree is one, oh, 250. Plant Arima. Need to go find some of that. I think I saw some on the ground somewhere. Let's go see if we can get four of those plant arima stuff, because I don't think we can create it. I think we could just do it. I don't have any of that in my... No, that's Nolna. Nola. Yeah. All right. I don't have any, but let me go see if I can find some. Look what we have here. So if you're looking for some, there's your aluminum fields. That's where my home is. Boom. Right, off to find some more. Look at that, new butterfly farm. Oh, that's fantastic. It means we can start creating some butterflies. Ooh, and a silk generator. Wow. Ooh, and there's a blue crate. I don't think I have opened these yet. Might as well start doing that. Boom, take that. Cool. There you go, there's another one. For anybody looking for it, the coordinates are down at the bottom. Feel free to take a screenshot. Oh, another blue crate. What's in here? Luke, oh, that reminds me, I've got a bunch of these. Still, no love for the fuses. Another crate. What do we got? No fuse. Urgh. This game hates me. Sorry for the loud noises, but apparently this game has decided to throw a lot of meteors at me. But if you want a third one, here it is at this location, even though the screen's shaking. Right, we've got three now. I need one more of these bad boys. I'm going to go try to find it. All right. If you're looking for the fourth one, come to this location. Look at it. Bottom left hand screen. Climb up the old vines here. Straight in front of you is our fourth and final one that we're looking for. Boom. One, two, three, four. Let's head for home. Here's a chest. I don't have room for it, but... Uh, Friendship. Maybe we'll decode those. Maybe there's some things in those that I'm ignoring, but I have a feeling I've maxed out on the blueprints. But let's go find out. Look at our forest jungle going on here. That's very cool. Too bad they're all going to get replaced with a different kind of tree, but that's okay. Okay, let's get started. Let's go check the recipe again. It is. Yep, all that. We've got mutagen. Tree bark and Rima. You go boom. Thank you. Let's go cash in our blueprint chips, but I'm almost certain we have run out of the ability to decode. Oh no, I was wrong. Oh, blueprint pinning T2. Now that's something that's new to the game. I've not tried that out. Let's check that out in a bit. Um, satellite T4. Oh, wow. Right, finally, we can do that. And the drones. Ooh, that's right. I forgot about that. We're not ready for that. But ooh, getting the next level of map out there is important. All right, cool. Let's go see what that takes. I might as well do that while we are here. All right, here we are for our satellite. We just need a microchip compass, two super alloy rods, two circuit boards, and a rocket engine. We can do that. But the other thing I remembered is we've got these golden seeds that we have not placed down. Wow, look at those. Um, there are flower spreaders around here that we can swap that over to. Let's see, there was one right here. Yep, good. Let's pull that baby out and put that baby in. And I think there was one over here and then one over there. All right, I'm going to go through and swap them over. And then we will go get everything we need to send our T4 rocket up. Okay, let's get this rocket launched. GPS satellite T4, boom, bring it on. Come on and send it off to space see ya and now our map should change drastically we should be able to see so much more 
I think it doesn't have, we don't have to wait for it to get all the way out into space. See, it actually does it. And wow, that's how big our map can see now. And you can move it about, which we couldn't do before, which is really cool. It always kind of centers it on yourself when you first open it, but it really does show all sorts of stuff. Does it show our base out um, by the waterfall? Let's see. Uh, I, I can see that that's there. Um, uh, I can't see our waterfall, of course. I don't remember where it is. And uh, we can move. Can we? No, we can't use our mouse. Oh, that's really inconvenient. But that's okay. See, I thought we had a base. It's out that way. What? Well, I can't find it. Uh, that's me not knowing where I'm going. Sort of like real life. Anyway, there it is. We've sent it off. Boom. Let's go get the rest of our trees to get those up to speed. All right, finally. We've got four of these babies right here. It's so uh, hard to see through all these trees. But that's okay. Cool. We have a one. That's a 125. We're upgrading to a 250. Let's bang that out. That should clear up the space so we can see. Oh, it didn't, but that's okay. Um, right, let me go through and find the other one. Oh, wait, there's another one. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Right, pull that out. Boom. Put that one. Nope, that one in. All right, organize so I can see what I'm doing. Cool. Uh, there's one over there. I think the last one is over that way. Let's pull that out. Put that in. One more. Um, is it over this way? Somewhere. Somewhere. Um, is it this guy? Let's have a look. Yes. Beautiful. Boom. Right. Oh, see, I told you all the trees would disappear. Now it disappears. Cool. Now, we got a few more things we need to do, such as we need to get ourselves set up with some silk generators, which will be important. We need to get a couple butterfly farms up and running. And as you can see, we've got an outdoor farm available. Now, we'll need to create a lot more bee larva. The next version of beehives generates those, but we'll do some in the meantime. So let me go get started on that. All right, let's get started now. I need places to put things. I have brought some iron so we can, come on, link that there. I brought everything I need to put two butterfly arms right there. Um, there you go, that looks much better. Boom, one there and one there. Beautiful. Now we need butterflies. Let's go in here and get ourselves some butterflies created in. Oh, ah, that threw me out. Oh, look at that. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah. Silly me. Anyway, so what we have is the ability to create this 1000%. Man, it's so loud here. Wish I knew that. So if I put one of those, one of those, and one of those, I need another one of those in there it should start generating let me go get another fertilizer that i left behind and i'll be back well look at that an accident has happened how cool is that i didn't even know that recipe was possible but we've just created a golden butterfly larva wow pretty cool um the chances are rare so I doubt we're going to get another one, but I'm sticking that baby back in there and see what else we can get. In the meantime, let's go plop this golden butterfly out here into this. Oh, sorry. Into this one. And boom, we should now have golden butterflies singing around. Cool. Let's wait for the next one to finish. OK, here we are. And look at that. We've made golden butterflies once again. That's incredible. I'm sure we followed the recipe that said that rare mutagen T2 and a fertilizer, but let's take advantage of the fact that we did it because they are incredible when it comes to increasing our, um, oh, wrong one, always, our insect life and boom, 
There we are. Wow. Look at that, baby. Ah. Uh, you know what? We've got to go back and see. Well, you know what? Instead of going back, let's build ourselves a little. Well, we can do the biomass screen, but we want the blueprint screen. Nah. Well, let's just do the biomass screen because that, uh, oh, I need iron. All right, let me go back and get an iron and we will put a biomass screen up so we can have a look and see how it goes. Now it's time to create some more food before I do that uh, because we've got enough stuff to do it with. Now, where should we put this little screen? Shall we put it right here? Yeah, that's a great place. Here we go. Screen, biomass. Oh, that's not the one. Screen. It is that one. Yes, it is. Oh. Right, right smack dab in the center. And there you go. We can see where we are. 315. Doesn't help with showing um, what we get next, but it definitely tells us how we're doing. And let's go outside and take a look at all the beautiful things we've managed to do. I have a feeling we need to get some more butterflies and bees lined up. I'm going to try to push them out this way and put some more. Might do that between episodes. But that is going to bring this episode to a conclusion. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really had a great time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And as always, feel free to subscribe. And until the next one, when we do some automation, I'll see ya.